In this video, I'll show you how you can add audio to your e-learning project in Articulate Storyline 3 and 360 that plays continuous through your whole course. Hi, I'm Mark Sperman from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. If you search in Google on how to add background music to your Articulate Storyline course, you will find a lot of results with questions how to do this. But it's hard to find a good solution, especially if you use Storyline 3 or Storyline 360. But in the pile of results, there is a solution written by Jackson Hammer that works well in Storyline 2, 3 and Storyline 360. And you can find the link to this forum thread by the Articulate Community Forum in the description of this video below. And in this video, I will show you how you can get Jackson's solution to work in your Storyline project. So the first step is to create a folder on your hard drive with the audio files that you want to use. Now I've already created the folder in my documents folder and the folder is called audio and there are two mp3 files. And what we have to do is create a blank index.html file. Now you can create this HTML file by clicking with your right mouse, go to new, go to text document and rename the text document and also the extension. So I call it index.html, press enter. And now uh, Windows uh, asks me if I want to uh, change the extension and you want this, so we'll click yes. And now store, uh, Windows will convert the text document in a index.html file. And the next step is to fire up Articulate Storyline for the background music. The next step is to create a new scene in my Articulate Storyline project. And in this scene, there's a blank slide and this blank slide, the learner will never see this. And on this slide, I will uh, add a web object. So I'll double click the slide. Now I'll go to insert and choose web object. And you see the web object insert window opens. Now for the address, you fill in the path to the folder that you just created on your computer. In my case, it was in my documents fo folder and then the audio folder. Now, how want to want we display this web object? We want to display it in slide and we want to also load the web object automatically. Now, if these settings are OK, we can click on OK. And you see Storyline has added a web object. Now. The next step is to pub publish our Articulate Storyline course to see which name Articulate gives the web object folder in the published folder. So what I'll do is I'll go to preview or publish, click on publish, wait a little bit, uh, choose for web or HTML. And, and it's now in my Articulate Storyline project. That's okay for now. And I click on publish and now Articulate Storyline will publish my course. So if the course is published, you can click on open and you'll go directly to the published folder. Now we click on story content and here there is a web objects folder. We click on the web objects folder and this uh, 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 signs we have to, the name of this folder we have to remember. So what I'll do is I'll uh, copy this, control C and this okay. And now I'll return to Articulate Storyline. What we're going to do now is we are going to create a, a variable in Articulate Storyline. So I'll go to my, I will close this window, go to my variables, variables tab, click on the green plus sign. For variable, I'll choose the name location with a capital L and location, small letters. The type is text and the default value will be the path to the published course uh, web objects folder. So it, that's, that's not the real path. So let me, copy, let me copy it. Wait a moment. So I copied the path. You see the story content folder, the web objects folder. And there after that, it's the web objects folder that we've just created. So this is okay. 
and now I can click on OK. And now let's go to the next step. The next step is to create a JavaScript trigger. When the course starts, that will um, change your stored uh, HTML document. So what I'll do, I'll go to story view. This will be the first slide in my course. So I will click it, go to triggers. Uh, it's not jump to slide, but it will be uh, where it is execute JavaScript. If I click on the red JavaScript, I get my JavaScript window. And what you have to insert here is this uh, chunk of JavaScript. And you can find this chunk of JavaScript in the article storyline uh, community forum. Uh, and there is a link to the thread in the description of this video below. So we have added this JavaScript and now we can click on OK. So that's OK. So when the course loads and the timeline starts, this piece of JavaScript will be executed. And now we need a manual trigger uh, or a trigger from the learner to play the music because uh, new browsers like Chrome and Firefox don't allow us to uh, automatically play your music. So what we're all going to do is I'm going to insert a button here. So I'll go to button, uh, draw a button. I say play music. And I'll add another JavaScript code to it. So that's OK. Click on OK. So here we copy this piece of JavaScript. And what it does, it gets the location from the location variable and puts it the MP3, audio MP3, one dot MP3, and it will play it. And this MP3 name is the same as in my folder. So let's check for the web objects. You'll see there 1.mp3, 2.mp3, and my index.html. So if I publish this course and a user clicks on the, let's click on OK, and let's click on OK, play music button, the music will play for this course. So with this piece of JavaScript, you can uh, load multiple uh, audio files on multiple slides if you want to. Uh, now uh, 1.mp3 will be loaded, but I can also load 2.mp3 on another slide. And what you also could do is uh, change the, uh, the volume of the audio with a JavaScript. And you can do it with this piece of code. Uh, so you can create, for instance, uh, an audio um, a toggle where you can uh, 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 adjust the volume of the audio or uh, uh, turn the volume off of the audio and turn it on again. Now you can find this piece of JavaScript uh, also in the, uh, in the farm thread by uh, Jackson Hammer. And what I already said, you can find the link to the forum thread in the description of this video below. So I hope with this explanation, you can also add a uh, audio background to your whole Articulate Storyline project. If you want to build your articulate storyline skills, then make sure you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how to create engaging e-learning in articulate storyline in less time. And I will know for sure it will help you because it shows you my exact process that I'll use for every e-learning module that I build in articulate storyline. You can find my free guide on upwardonlinelearning.com slash free guide. And if this video was useful to you, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel by clicking subscribe and clicking the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos that I publish every Thursday on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day!